It's gonna take... That is 17 turns for a siege. Um, that's inappropriately long. 20... 170, and they're guarded by 23. Oh boy. All right, let's, um, I've only got the two siege projects. Hang on, hang on a second. No, it's like way over here. Oh God, plus one siege project. Uh, here's plus one siege project. That'll speed it up a little bit. Add siege projects. Okay, so we want things that are gonna increase the speed. Devastator spheres, although I don't like them as a plus eight. So we're at 17 turns, that'll go down to 10. Let's maybe do onagers, because they're gonna have a lot of units. Uh, so we're down to nine turns. Hello everyone, my name is Gracie, and welcome to episode 32 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders 4, Zimbala the Channeler. I'm trying to I'm trying to get this done. I got so many series I gotta show you guys. I got so many games I wanna play. Um, my hair is not cooperating. Just don't look at it. Don't look at my hair. All right, so um, it's been a week and a half since I've recorded, so I don't know what's going on. It looks like I'm sieging. Ah, Bendleton. That's right. Below here is Stronghold. Real clever name for a capital there, Fangir. All right, where are all of my forces? Ah, we're healing up here. I think we had just repelled a group that had attacked us. Yeah, so we need to turn to get all these troops in order, and we're also waiting on this force. I think I hired these from the Rally of Lieges. Yeah, so I'm in, I'm in pretty good shape here. Um, I've got 50 binding essence. I don't know if I want to make anything or just move on. So let's just get all these guys. Mm hmm Ship Scourge. Um, he's, um, uh, I am vassalizing this city. So he's going to be gone. No one can come to his aid. Yeah, I collected a bunch of people. Mm hmm They're, they're raising, um, at war. Oh, he wants to end the war. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it would be faster to wipe you off this planet. You sniveling coward. There, I said it. I have a lot of Imperium. Let's just start using that for something. Um, oh, yeah, this one here. So let me get Bendleton under my grasp, and then we'll do the magic material thing. That'll be nice. Eight turns on this siege. Huh? Good lord. Oh, the Fae are destroying that. That's right. So we're just gonna we're just gonna head to Bendleton. We'll head on by um not Bendleton to uh, Stronghold. We'll just walk right past all of their uh, stuff here. I could send um I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's not worry about it. We're gonna have wounded units and that's fine. These are just low tier units. I just popped out, I guess, for the hell of it. Okay. Uh, you're not supposed to be moving. You're staying right there. Um, these guys are all done kicking ass up here. Who are these from? Rogue Marauder. Oh, these are quests. Kind of a kind of a powerful quest. Hey, these are my people. Is this... No, I don't. I don't have a quest. So this is somebody else's quest. But why are they killing my people? Um, I'm worried. Are you going to declare war on me? No. Settle grievances. Uh, their grievances. No. I want to forgive grievances, so we can be friends. I really want to pay for these too soon. Five turns. Yeah, see, I'd rather be friends with them so we can just win the game. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, goodbye. Can we... Let's become better friends and just win. Like, I don't want to have to kill you. But I'll fucking do it. <laughs> I'll kill you too. Like, I just killed Logar. Okay, all these forces headed down just in case... You just wait there. I don't really need to build any more units. Uh, actually, you can come along. Arcane Guard. Seven, pop out with 75 health. I have special provinces, don't I? These are like... Uh, 
How do I see... Here it is. Okay. I think they have little names under them if they're unique, right? Yeah, Abbey. So I only have the one special province. So let's just... I don't know. Grab something. Honestly, probably like... This. We've got more space for the um, Umbral people to raise as they come on through. So it'll give me more time if they do want to do that. This is Primortalis Nebula. This is the northern border. Um, this would give me gloom, though. Uh, so I don't really need that. I guess I need another forester in this little group here. This would be decent here to control the thing that goes down. Pure Flame Staves. This gives magic attacks inflicting Condemned, create Cleansing Flame. Condemned lowers their status resistance, which means we can set them on fire easier. Cleansing Flame. So let's enchant. 54 mana. It's expensive, but I can pay for it. It's only a fifth of my mana. Okay, we're friends. We're actually getting to be better friends. We're both good, so that helps. Uh -huh. hmm. I might send these three down here, just um, because why not? Uh, let's just check a couple of things, like, what, oh. Or a Calca, Warbreeds and Scalds. Plus this guy with this extremely meaty ha hammer here. Yeah, damn. So we might just kind of poke around the map a little bit, see what's going on, and then I might pause um, to spare you the slog of me running units around the world. Um... And just sort of like get to a position where it's like about time to win the game. And hopefully, what's his face will become my friend so I don't have to slog through declaring war on him, especially after I just gave up all my Cassus Belly against him. So let's just see what's going on around here, and then I will probably just pause. Because I mean, now all I'm doing is cities are growing and I'm moving forces around, and it's kind of boring. Altar of Stars, I never took that. So you need forest and quarry. You don't have anything destroyed. Why are you so... Why are you like this? Let's get some... Um... Oh, you're connected. You're connected. Province was... Oh, this was the one that was under siege. I guess they made some sort of concession. Unless they're being um, raised. Oh, yeah. Look at this. The flag that pops up belongs to the mists. Interesting. Interesting. We may not be so different. Different, yep. Pronouncements. Um, oh, he's down to 15. What can I do? If I give him gold, thank you, but consider this a gift. For the love of God, be my friend so I can end the game. has denounced it yes okay so he's denouncing him excellent okay so i'm gonna pause and i will come back to you with updates of important things like sieges and that kind of thing so i'll be right back okay i'm getting a new tome here let's see we've got astral mirror uh K tome of chaos channeling i mean i like the fire but i don't know about sacrificial slaughter 
That's not really what I do. A full army of random non-scout tier one units that can be produced in the city. If cast within an enemy province, instantly pillages it. That's hilarious. Fan the Inferno. All enemy units sustain five damage and are inflicted with burning. Okay. I'm convinced. That's fun. Embrace the chaos. A fan the Inferno. Oh, and it's too. discounted by and a little bit. Ooh wee. What's this touch. one? Target to race, granting them fire resistance, vengeful flames, emotion. fiery wake, Ooh, immune to burning. <gasps> Oh, I want both of those. Okay, I'll probably just uh, roll for it next time uh, I get to finish research. All right, see you later. Okay, so um, I already know that spell. I'm getting a deal here. Uh, exchange your blood for condemnation. Uh, price of, I don't want to lose city stability in four cities. So I guess I'll learn Ice Coffin. I mean, it's useful because it can freeze units. I just, I'm never gonna cast it is the problem, but I guess I'll just take that one. It wounds your faction leader who is here. Oh, she's still healing though. So it kind of doesn't matter. Five more turns on that siege. Ugh. It's gonna take, that is 17 turns for a siege. Um, That's inappropriately long, 20. 170 and they're guarded by 23 oh boy all right let's um i've only got the two siege projects hang on hang on a second no it's like way over here oh god plus one siege project uh here's plus one siege project that'll speed it up a little bit good lord that is terrible that is fucking terrible get that one um, okay, so what should I add to this here? Add siege projects. Okay, so we want things that are gonna increase the speed. Not headlong assault. Devastator spheres, although I don't like them as a plus eight. So we're at 17 turns, that'll go down to 10. Jeez, that's a long fucking time. Um, dragon attack. We'll set everyone on fire and deal damage. I do think that's really, really cool, even though it won't help me with the time. And then let's take one other thing that'll help with time. Um, undermining the walls. They do have stone walls. Let's maybe do onagers, because they're going to have a lot of units. Uh, so we're down to nine turns. So that's a little bit more acceptable, even though it's still going to take forever. Uh -huh. Let me just get everybody down here. Um, and then I'll just stand right here on this passageway. I need to select this group. There we go. So just stay there. They can't escape. No one can come to their aid. These guys are healing and, and or unnecessary. So I just left them up there. Um, so we'll just stand there. All right. I've got a lot of notifications to get through. I'll see you soon. Okay. Check this out. Um, this city here, if I get close enough, you can see that... It's actually filled with these mist units, so they are indeed converting this. I'm not going to contest this. I think this is hilarious. I assume they're just going to raise the city. So I'm just going to have these forces just like hang out on the exterior of the city and just sort of see what happens. Um, yeah, I'm in no rush. Uh, I just want to see if they raise it or turn it. Like, do they conquer it and it becomes a mist city? That would be kind of spooky. So I'm just going to see what happens with that. Okay, through a series of mainly financial gifts. I was able to get this guy up to 345 respectful. So I think if I negotiate defensive pact, sure, pal, um, I'll give you the, I'll give you the gold. Okay, so we're up to almost 600 here. So I think in a few more turns, holy, I think in a few more <laughs> turns, I could, I can maybe make him like, um, uh, Def uh, we're a defensive pack, so I think next is Alliance, actually, which would be great, because then we can um, win the game together. That's a lot of shamans. What? Why have you... Okay, gremlins, I see you like to have heterogeneous stacks. You've got the war shaman stack, the berserker stack, the gremlin stack. I don't really know what this guy's doing, but I don't want to have to fight this. That looks like a, a bit of a slog. It doesn't even look challenging it's just a lot it's just too many war shamans it'd be like a bunch of support units with five stacks of strength and so they would hit really hard once and then you just bowl them over with shock units so we're not gonna do that all right be back 
Okay, now that I'm only pausing and unpausing for the good bits, uh, maybe we'll do this fight real quick since uh, just as a manual fight. It should be real fast, but we do have our faction leader here. Um, yeah, what do I have in here? I've got the Arcane Maelstrom. Ooh, and then I've got Cascading Power. They just have the Beacon of Valor, Rally and Resurgent Strength. Hit points, it becomes three strength. Okay, so that's a little dangerous, but it's going to be super easy. Plus, I've got some new toys to play with, like, um... What's that spell I just learned? Oh, the one that does damage to everyone and sets them on fire. Pretty sick. No towers. Okay, everything just got destroyed. Um... Did I do that? Why... Whoa, why are these... Why are these falling? Okay, well, whatever. Man, this... Graphics are great. I love this game. Um, so where's my new fun toy to play with? I have a lot of spells. Purifying Flame. Nope. Oh, here it is. Fan the Inferno. Every... All enemy units sustain five damage or inflict with it. That's probably not worth it for... F <laughs> There's only four units left. Oh, I could, I could play with my new Ice Coffin. That's pretty stupid, though. I really... What I need to do is just set them on fire. And in fact, I don't need it to be fancy. I just need them to be on fire. Um, so they start taking damage. Let's not hit the ones that are gonna resist it the best. Let's hit this group. There we go. Every spell I cast is a cascading power. In fact, I could never, I could win this fight without, you know what? I'm gonna win this fight without um, going inside their walls. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go back here. And uh, they're just gonna die from spells. I'm never even gonna go in the walls. And of course they're stupid AI, they're probably gonna come out here anyway. But I think it's funny that I uh, could do this without leaving. Oh, that's not the right kind of uh, support unit. Oh, I don't have one. All right, mending touch, you. And healing prayer, dragon. Beautiful, I've got my onagers. Again, I don't even need these. I don't even need these to win. You need a little bit of healing. These Phantasm Warriors just got a nerf, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not offended by the nerf. I, I think everybody thought they were too strong. I'm inclined to agree. Didn't really have a problem with it because I mostly, I think balance is important in even in single player, but not as important as it is for multiplayer. So, and I understand that multiplayer people. Um, are frustrated by sometimes when things are too strong or whatever. They're just taking a bunch of damage. Okay, that one's burning. How would you like to also be burning? There we go. What, you got something you'd like to say? Oh, I can reach from back here? Also have this catapult, which I don't even need. Huh. <laughs> Does a tiny bit of damage. I'm just gonna do that. I'm just trying to break the. I like breaking the walls in the fights. I think it's fun. Boop. Very fun. Phantasm Warrior, you guys can just take a break. Uh, they can't even, like, get to me. This does not matter. I don't appreciate that. Teleport behind you, nothing personnel, kid. Next. Even more stacks. She's turned around. I mean, I know she was trying to get the hits off on the faction leader, but like, was this worth it? Kind of a Hail Mary, I guess they'd never had a chance. Is this the game where I can constrict? 
think it is. So much, so much stuff from flying out of the sky at them. It's so amazing. Imagine what the sky looks like. It's like a swirling vortex of lightning, fire, and frost. Just like, and every once in a while, just a finger of death just comes down from the sky and strikes one of them. Like that. And like that. That's amazing. If that's what it's going to be like in my fight against um, Fangir, but just better... And I'm looking forward to that. Let's absorb. Ooh, I could migrate, but that's minus 10 alignment. I'm pure good. Let's migrate. Also takes less time. Uh, and then we'll just wait here for that. Oh, my uh, armies are off a of conquering. How are we doing on time? Really good on time. Let me keep trying to um, keep, keep this up so that we can... Maybe, maybe we can finish this this episode. That would be kind of cool. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I just finished taking over this city, and it's like, it has eight quarries, because, like, like these are all quarries. Like, this could have been a, f a mine, this could have been a mine, this could have been a mine. They have no foresters. Very bizarre choice to just make eight quarries. And, like, there's this, you could have made foresters out here. Like, there's a fish farm and a fish farm, but, like, they just, they stopped taking water and they just, like, took, they're like, no, no, no. I would like the desolate ash provinces, please. More quarries, please. I am once again looking at tomes. I've got the demon gate. Two fiend units of the same tier in the target army fight each other. One dies, the other transforms into a fiend with a tier one level higher than before. Okay. Uh, gremlin ambushers. Targets a city when you fight in the domain. Gremlin is spawned. Demon kin. This isn't quite right for me, I think. Stormborn. That one's fun, but I don't want rain and... and water and all that stupid stuff uh subjugation all right let's go to the tome library um what do we want i mean more fire i mean i don't even know how much more i can get mayhem revelry is not bad it's more like blood though i don't i think that's weird pandemonium chaos eater incite revolution target enemy city loses a border province Spawns a bring-in camp. Spawns a pirate cove. Oh my god, that's so ridiculous. Um, Tome of the Demon Gate. Yeah. Jeez, I just... I I don't know if I even... Like, what else do I want? Uh, let's go back to the early tomes and see if there's anything I want. Just like... Um, where's the one that... Um, Tome of Warding? Staves of warding, like that, that would be good. And uh, magical wards would be decent. So maybe I'll just grab this. They should be real easy and quick to research. I've got 700 research at this Those point. So let's grab magical wards. Okay. Fangir wants to... Uh, the only reason I'm considering this is that we would immediately cease our war. Um, but th what does this person feel like? Um, they are a revolutionary diplomat. Likes empires with vassals. Dislikes empires with a larger domain. Dislikes empires that trade grievances. Um, information. Never breaks treaties. Oh, we're only at 500 with them. I can't propose an alliance. I need to wait three turns, but I'm I'm losing points with them again. Send gift. I gotta keep sending them gifts in order to keep them from freaking stop being my friend. Thank you, but here's a gift. God, it's so frustrating. Um, What is this gonna do? Their trade value. So I would get... Become overlord creates a fixed alliance overlord will gain additional resources per turn Vassal will automatically be drawn to any wars both sides will return a captured heroes i 
Do I have to accept this now? Let's try it and see what happens with this guy. It's a deal. So how do you feel about me now? I guess I just, I don't know. So I'm the, oh, okay. Well, they had more cities than I thought, but yeah, they're very weak right now. I bet they're, yeah, rank three of four. And that's because one person's dead. So uh, let me let me get through all this stuff and uh, pause and, and I'll see um, I'll see if What's-His-Face wants to be my ally and I can just win now by scaring them into being on my side. <laughs> Okay, so it shows that I cannot make an alliance with this guy because there are too many alliances, which is annoying. Um, Cause I, 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 so, so I think what I need to do is build those, um, those beacons of unity in a few places in my empire. Like maybe, maybe I can squeeze them all like right here and then just send all my armies there and just defend them for a little bit. And I might even be able to buy rush them. So. How are we doing on this episode in time? 25 minutes. Let's see if I can do this whole thing on this episode so we can just be done with it and I can move on. Cause I have like, I have like three full Age of Wonders series recorded um, and ready to go. So I need to like get going or you guys aren't even gonna see anything. I If I start recording tomorrow, you won't even see it until like February. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta do this. Um, I want to push this button here and get the magic material near each city in my empire and see what happens now They're gonna be guarded, which is interesting, but now I have access to so there's archon blood there Oh here uh, more archon blood This one's got it's hard to see focus crystals Clover and clover so so that's actually pretty cool i actually have a, bu a building that i think the tendril no one of the one of the like good boy convent whatever buildings i have gives me bonuses per uh positive thing so that's good this also gives me relations which is good because i want to stay on this guy's good side if we can't be allies i at least uh want him to not attack me while i get these beacons going and i'm building them in these three spots they're all on their way i'll boost them up but each one's gonna cost like 1500 bucks to boost so at this time i can only do a couple of them anyway so i'll just wait a couple of turns probably boost them all to speed this along uh, i don't want to leave myself completely destitute but i've got i've got um a lot of i have like maybe half of these full stacks are on their way to this middle portion and i'll just i'll just stand there and just defend and no matter what shows up all like six stacks of six just ready to just move around and just take them all and then there's nobody can do anything i don't think okay so this guy is fangear is coming to retake his city i don't want to do i mean i just I don't think this matters at this point. This should be pretty easy. Okay, I lost a lot of units. I don't... Oh, no, these are his units. I lost a warg. All good with me, buddy. Hell yeah. Yeah, I don't mind losing your units. I'm cool with that. Oh, this is exciting. I have astral attunement transformation ready. So we're going to transform. So we get ethereal type, which will give us defense, but minus lightning. We get pass through, immune to bleeding, disease, and mobilized poison. But whenever we cast a spell in combat, we are granted a random positive status effect for everyone that's our race, which is going to happen. Replace draconian transformation with astral attunement. No! Okay, the beacons are lit. They're all in this really nice little triangle right here where I can just stack up. Like I have I have forces from all over the world streaming into here. Um, I'm gonna send a couple of stacks out to start taking out these um, magic materials. I grabbed this one, I grabbed this one with an auto. So I've just got like some, just getting some quick autos out of the way. Here's one right here. I'll grab that one next turn when I've got overwhelming numbers i'm trying not to lose too many units to make this faster what are you on archon blood yeah so i've got a couple right here to take out and then the last one is here so i'll be right back with that wait a minute they're proposing an alliance with me can i just win <laughs> I just went so he wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna allow me to be his ally because there were too many alliances and then i started casting the beacons of unity and he's like 
Wait, wait, there aren't too many alliances. Please, please take me with you. Take me with you to the Pantheon. Oh man, look at me, fire and brimstone. Ooh, can you tell that I'm actually the good, was I the good guy? Let me know in the comments if I was the good guy because I kind of don't seem like it. And I went by conquering and the only reason I did work really hard not to fight the bug people, though. I worked really hard. I gave them thousands of gold so they would not, so they would like me. I was like, let's just forget all of our transgressions. Every turn, I was like, here's 50 gold as a gift. Here's 100 more gold as a gift. I was like, forgiving transgressions. I was paying 10 gold a turn to be their friend. I was giving them everything. So I guess, like, you know what? I'm the good guy. I'm the good guy. Anyway, well, I, I, I apologize for the somewhat lacking ending. I, I, I thought I would be fighting some marauders that were showing up to the beacons. I didn't expect What's-His-Face to just, like, be like, Oh, wait, wait, no, wait, let me win with you. Okay, so here's our power levels. Damn, we were getting strong. Um, so that's, yeah, so he was right up there with me. Ooh, yeah, Fangir was not that weak. He was weaker than me, but not weak. I mean, that's a that's a that's pretty strong. Um, this person, Logar, took me a long freaking time to kill once I declared war on him. I think it was here, but like he like this is still pretty strong. It's weaker than me, but still pretty strong. In fact, there was a time in here where my bug friends were more powerful than me. Um, that's interesting. Interesting. Let's look at military. Yeah, I was crushing it in military. Um, gosh, Logar got knocked the fuck out almost. That was great. Look at that. I didn't know he was that weak at that point. I mean, you never really know. That's really interesting. Expansion. Yeah, I was bump. Yeah, gaining cities. I don't know why this. I don't know why this went back down. Is it when I vassalize a city? It's like, oh, you took a city. Oh, you vassalized it took a city oh you vassalized it i bet that's what it is research ranking uh fa i thought i was crushing it at research that is shocking to me that i was behind that's actually shocking to me although they were on hard so they were like cheating you know even though the ai is dumber so they kind of need it diplomacy um that's fine that makes sense and economy yeah i wasn't even beating the bugs that's kind of crazy Wow. That's interesting. Um, done. Let's go to the Pantheon. Accept. Ascend. Ascension trait. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me make sure I'm recording. It'd be kind of sad if I just went through all that and I wasn't recording. Okay. Deep Caller. Um, this gives a impale. I don't... That is extremely powerful. Whoa, 45 physical damage, ignoring defense and constrict. So that's essentially 55, almost. If it dies, it turns into a tentacle. Holy crap. Dragon heart. Uh, friendly dragons gain defense and resistance. Interesting. Profit. Target friendly unit gains morale strengthened. No, I need, oh, here we go. Pyre bearer. This unit has resurgence, minus hit points, and explodes when it dies. Okay. Pyromancer. Target. Oh, Ascended Wildfire. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Cascades. Yes. Ascending. F Ascendant Fire Burner Lady. That's a lot of points. Um, yeah, once again. 31 hero level gains. 38 heroes defeated. Holy crap. Let's take a look at the Pantheon. I've got 16 points now. I guess I hadn't spent very many of them. I will not bore you guys with that stuff, but I will grab like some of this umbral stuff. I like the the um, special starts that you can get. Um, and then there was like some ranger stuff over here. Let's just get the yeah. I said I wouldn't bore you guys with it, and then here I go, literally doing it. Oh man, I am so close to finishing this. Look at that, I need two. And then I can go into actual cosmetics, which I am excited for. It's just like these have functional, like these are functional in game, like unique new builds to start out with. So like, I want that. 
Uh, but this is so cool. I can't wait to finish this up. And I hope at some point they come out with another tree of stuff. I'm hoping for more like big content patches because I think this game deserves it. Um, and I know with Planetfall, they, they did what they said they would do and then they stopped. But I'm hoping Age of Wonders 4 has a farther reaching uh, crowd and more players and they can even put more DLC and changes and patches and balance into the game. Because I remember the day that they announced their final balance change for Planetfall and you just kind of get that like sinking feeling in your heart. You're like, I love this game and it's really good as it is, but it's this is how it'll stay probably forever. And that's kind of sad when you when you love a game as much as I loved Age of Wonders 3, Planetfall, and now this game. So I hope I hope that the lifespan of this game hasn't come to an, an end in terms of additions and balances. Um Though, of course, when that day comes, we know that they'll be working on something else great. Because I think we all knew when Planetfall stopped getting pal balance patches that Age of Wonders 4 Fantasy was coming. I think we all sort of knew it. And I'm hoping that they'll take what they learned from Planetfall and 4 and make a Planetfall 2. Because Planetfall was something special. It really was. And I want to see a Planetfall 2. I really do. The My Galactic Empire mode, incredible, incredible. And we need that in this game. We need that so badly, so badly. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this series so far. I said that automatically, sorry. It's actually over. I hope you enjoyed this series, which is done. Um, I hope you, you enjoyed coming along for the ride. 32 episodes, I can cross this one off. I've been working on this episode for like two hours now because I've been pausing so much and just like watching YouTube while I fiddle fart around with my units. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out my Patreon, blah, blah, blah. If you're here on episode 32, for the love of God, click the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Please, I beg you. I beg you. So thank you so much, and I'll see you for my next Age of Wonders 4 uh, series. Thanks a lot.